originally I planned on going down there, but I, I'm much more comfortable here, so thank you for that. And thank you, Jim. Uh, really, I'm going to make my 10-minute presentation relatively short on the role I do because I think, honestly, people overcomplicate what I do, and they put too much emphasis on fear factors. My job, I kind of uh, alluded to this yesterday on a one-on-one -on -one with Nick, but real simply, my job is to almost be a psychiatrist or psychologist to the client. Uh, to really help them explore where their fear factors are, what reality is to them, and then maybe introduce the perspective they need to do, and then help them identify strategies that will get to their end goal but still make them comfortable. That's where I said earlier about having the third largest firm behind my back and having a lot of tools available. There are different strategies for everybody and different customizations, but my job is really sit down, hear them out, identify how they, uh, you know, what they learned from their parents as far as saving money, identify different strategies that they uh, have heard about that you know they've either tried or seen somebody explode on and make sure that you know they're comfortable with what they're doing. The next part is also to sometimes put some realism. For example, if you're under age 55, in all likelihood, you're gonna retire around 73 with Social Security, the way they're changing. That still puts you another 25 to 30 years living that you have to plan for retirement. Now, if you stop and think about that, if you start out age 18 working and saving towards retirement, and went to 73, that's 55 years of workforce. If you need to plan for at least another 25 years, almost 40% of what you earn every day needs to be put away or have some way to grow equivalent to that in order to cover that uh, remaining part on retirement. Obviously, we cannot all afford to take 40% of our paycheck and put it away. So that's where I can help you put, come up with strategies that uh, put a smaller part but still grow there and make sure you're protected on it. You know, and if you're over the age of 55, I'm going to tell you something that most advisors want. The rules and the models that you lived by before don't apply anymore because of the changes in the market. You don't have enough time to recover without some really customization on your part to make sure that you're going to be okay because we did take a serious hit. I don't believe in the Great Recession. I don't think we actually ever got there. I think that was media hype. But the reality is that we took a hit on our numbers. And personally, you probably each of you have taken, no matter what form of savings you got out there, you've seen some kind of action, whether it be the fact that your work has slowed down or anything else. But my job is to help you identify ways to go overcome that. And if you know somebody over 55, then to help them make sure that they're OK through the remaining years. Because it, I personally put the client first on this one. I want to make sure that their lifestyle hasn't changed significantly and that you know we can eliminate the biggest fear of all which is usually to the core every one of us has this fear that we're going to end up homeless eating dog food um, if we're not careful that's where i want to make sure people don't have that fear factor all right less bummer more on to the positive that's my job with i put on for um your desk or your in front of your plate uh, a report on the stop by report kind of looks like this yes. all right and I, you might have heard Kim uh, mention this earlier, but uh, Robert Bowser was talking about membership growth and what it does on your referrals. Okay, so here's some really great news before I go dive, in, dive into this. And uh, Dan's graciously agreed to put this in a real poster form so that we can show visitors when they come in. But the month of November, on our Palms report, we did $20,000, $20,475. Compared that, or I'm sorry, the month of October of 2001. Compared that to the month of October 2010, where we did $2,878, we actually exploded our referrals by 700% as far as closed business. Using those kind of strategy numbers, the more we put back on this report here, the more emphasis we put on new members and getting people in here, the more that it helps us generate our own returns. The very first month, if we just assume 20, uh, 20 members, very first month, we already got the return on investment for your average member because every, the average was per $1,000 per member. But as we go along, as we exclude, go up to the next quarter, if we get up to 25 members, that goes up to roughly $43,000 a month in referral business. We go up to 28 members, 
that goes up to $67,000 in referral business. All the way, if we could get to September, where we're a group of about 34 people, that's $137,000 a month. That's an average of $4,000 per member on that. So really want to put some drive on this. I know that we are going to be handing out cards, I can see today for uh, the 10 list, but this is something we all need to put some initiative on there. So that's my 10 minute presentation. Kept it short and brief and to the point. So, all right, thank you guys.